Welcome to episode, what is this? I'm losing track. Episode five? We're on episode five? Four? Four? Five? Five of Mia CC Unplugged. Um, we're just going to let the music play for a little bit as people like slowly join in and it's going to be fun. I have some new songs for you guys tonight, so get to hype. In the meantime, just vibe. I see my parents are tuning in. I see my sisters tuning in. Those are the G's, the best. <laughs> And we have a very special guest tuning in today, so I'm really excited for you guys to meet her. It'll be really fun. <laughs> Caroline has joined! Oh, I've missed you since I last saw you, like, two hours ago. <laughs> Who is the guest? Me? Kiara. The guest is not you. You would know if you were the guest. That is so funny. <laughs> you guys will meet the guest after I do my first song. <laughs> It's funny because, I mean, I talk about this all the time, but I wrote this song literally like when I was like 14, 15, I, I lost track of when I wrote it now. And so it's, it's still like a vibe. I don't know, I still like jamming out to it. <laughs> and what I thought was cool is that with the lyrics, it goes from standing on the ledge of do or die, then to soaring from the ledge of do or die, then to landing on the ledge of do or die. See that progression? Standing, soaring, landing. Yeah, I thought I was really smart when I was 15. <laughs> Also, if you guys haven't gone on YouTube and seen this video yet, or if you guys haven't, um, if you guys haven't like downloaded the song on Spotify, please do. Like, I know it's like a 16-year-old Mia singing to you, but I still feel like it's like a, a fun song and it's a cool video to watch, especially as like a 21-year-old now. Like, wow, I thought I was so mature. <laughs> That was also a high note for me that I hit when I was 16 that I was happy about. <laughs> everybody who's going to be watching this after I post it. Welcome to Nia CC Unplugged. This is the fifth episode that I've been doing. Every Friday at 7 p.m. I just get on and sing a few songs for you guys. Um, I talk to you guys. I interview like fun games with you guys. Um, and I'm really excited for the show that we have today. I think it'll be interesting, especially because like this is the first time that I'll be doing it in my dorm. Um, and like I hope people don't hear me. Maybe they will hear me. Maybe they'll think I'm annoying. Who knows? But I hope they get used to it. <laughs> so um, the first song that I have for you guys is the song that um, the song that I wrote? I didn't I didn't write the original song, but it's called it's called Watermelon Sugar by Harry Styles. And um, as you guys know, I've talked about it all the time. I'm a huge Harry Styles fan, and a thing that I've been doing is um, you guys have been suggesting songs for me to write responses to, um, and I've been writing responses to those songs. So um, I had written a little response to Watermelon Sugar, but then a lot of people were like, "No, like make a longer version." So I went ahead and I thought I would make a lot of longer version of Watermelon Sugar. So. This is this full song, and I hope you guys enjoy it. And keep suggesting more songs, too. Tastes like strawberries on a summer evening And it sounds just like a song you 
totally struggling today because I played the song way too high but I still went with it and that's all that matters so yeah that's the watermelon sugar high I will totally film um, uh, a regular version of it <clears throat> and just like play it for you guys like you know like normally and in a normal key where it will sound better but yeah that's watermelon sugar high so I hope you guys like that so that's just a little flavor of things we're gonna be doing today um, but before I get into any music as you guys were saying earlier or as I was saying earlier like I have a really special guest with me here today and I'm really excited to invite her and her name is Maya, and she is one of my ultimate best friends of all time. And today, she is going to be playing Like You Cards with me. I'm also going to turn the air conditioning off so that you guys can hear better. But Maya, welcome Hello. to the show. I'm going to put my mask on so that we're being smart since we're close to each other. Oh. So this is Maya. Maya, you are also a fourth year here at UVA. I am. Um, you can tell everybody a little bit about yourself. Hello, my name is Maya. I'm a fourth year at UVA. Yeah. <laughs> we Hi. just said we met each other on the first day of school, Literally. first year, and became best friends. Yep. So the rest is history. Yeah. I'm really struggling with this mask right now. Oh, it. yeah, there we go. So as you guys can see, even though me and Maya are best friends, we're still wearing masks. Yes, so we that's what you guys wearing should be doing mask. too. Wear your mask. Wear your masks. Um, and Maya also sings, and she's in an amazing acapella group here called The New Dominion, who are yes. awesome. They're so awesome, guys. You guys should go check them out and listen to Maya solos because I'm, I'm biased and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to play a little bit of Like You Cards today. Um, as I do every episode, Like You Cards are this game that my sister made with her business partners, and they're just a really good way to get to know each other and to get more vulnerable with people. Um, and they have amazing questions on it that really dive in deep. So me and Maya are going to do some of that. And I feel like we're going to learn more about each other, even if we, like, already know each other pretty well. <laughs> so I'm excited. Um, okay, let's, like, mix these up. So I want to do, like, different ones. Okay. And you guys should definitely, like, feel free to answer, too, if you guys have any, any, any answers. Okay, let's do the slow. The okay. first one is, who is your celebrity crush? Oh, oh my gosh. That's so hard. <laughs> you go first. Um, my celebrity crush is Harry Styles because okay. I love him. I so, love that. Yeah. Um... I feel like it changes all the time. Can I say, like, a person who's not real? I've been watching yeah. a lot of Avatar. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Are you going to say Maka? I'm going to say Maka. <laughs> I knew it. See? I knew it. And for everybody who doesn't watch, like, Legends of Korra and Avatar, get with it. It's so good. So good. Maka's crazy, but he's beautiful. Yeah. You have to stand. Okay. <laughs> this one's so funny. In a public place, would you rather your fart be silent but deadly or loud but over? <laughs> Um, 
I don't know. Um, I'm going to have to go with silent but deadly. Me too. <laughs> but, I mean, well, it depends on who I'm around. Like, if I'm around, yeah. around my friends, I would rather be loud and odorless because then we can laugh about it. Right. But, like, if I'm in class, yeah, so silent. No one has Nobody to has to know it was me. <laughs> Nobody has to know it was me. That is so funny. What type of question is that, Kiara? That is, who thought of that? I really want to know. Let's see. Um, do you believe everyone has a soulmate? Ooh. I feel like there can be soulmates, but not everyone has, like, one soulmate. Like, mm. I feel like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel that. I feel like, I believe in, like, you can have multiple soulmates yeah. for your friends. I don't know what you guys have to say. I personally don't believe in the idea that there's just, like, one person you are meant to be with. My sister's cracking up. <laughs> um, I, I don't think that there's, like, one person you're meant to be with because I think that takes the idea of choice out of it. Yeah. And I feel like love is a choice, and that's what I makes agree. it special. Yeah. So, um, yeah. When was the last time you cried? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, that literally might have been while watching Legend of Korra. Maybe that was Dude, if you finished season one, I cried at the yeah. end of season one. <laughs> that's what I, I know. totally did. I think... The last time that I cried, I had bad cramps the other day and I cried. And then I cried last week when I got locked out of my bed. <laughs> and it was it just, was it wasn't like a full blown sob, but it was, there was, there was some it was tears. Just like, why did this happen and to why me? Why did this happen to me? That was a whole thing. Oh, God, I love it. Okay. Rule breaker or rule, or rule keeper or rule breaker? Oh, uh, I feel like both. You think they're both? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like you're a pretty rule keeper. I think so too, but if, I, if they were like bad rules, I would. Break oh, it. I agree. Like if it has like social justice stuff, like I would break yeah. it. But other than that, I, I'm definitely a rule keeper. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, pretty rule keeper. How do you get rid of stress? Um, I hang out with you. Um, <laughs> I. That's it. No. There has to be more. <laughs> <laughs> I like singing too. I listen to music. Um, I journal a lot. I love journaling. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that. Yeah. I feel that. I think I'm similar. I also like obviously hang out with you. I think I, I sing, I write a lot, and I like to sleep. I yeah. really like to sleep. Sleep is so good. Just pretend it doesn't I exist it. and go to sleep. Yes. It's always fun. The dream world, different place. Different place. Um, ooh, are people born naturally good or naturally evil? Oh, this is good because I was having a really long conversation with someone about this ooh, the other day. Ooh, enlighten us. Um, and I think, I think people are naturally good. Yeah, I think so too. I feel like the world makes them evil. Like, I totally like, agree with you that. You see like a newborn baby and like, yeah. ever, like they're not evil. Yeah, they're, they're not evil yet. Exactly. Not yet. <laughs> but the world's making it I agree with that one. Um, what belief are you willing to suffer for? Ooh. I feel like a lot of them, like a lot of like social justice things I've definitely Yeah, done. same. I think anything with like social justice or inequality, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm ready to suffer for. My sister says, blank slate. Oh, people aren't born good or bad, just a blank slate. Okay. That's interesting. I'm actually kind of here for that. I'm yeah. here for that. Um, do you have any tattoos? I do. It's right here. That's a real tattoo? Yes! Oh my gosh! Dude, what since when? Since spring break. Dude, I don't think I thought that was real. <laughs> it is. See, I do learn something new. Yeah. I don't think... That's real? Yep. Whoa. Mm -hmm. when did, you got that during spring break? I got it in Spain. Spain. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, in my defense, I haven't seen you in person right. since, since, then. since quarantine. It was a crazy time. Yeah, that was a crazy time. That was a crazy time. I do not have any tattoos. I'm afraid of tattoos. Babies are bad. Babies are bad. <laughs> so That's true. That's like, you know those videos of like the babies pushing their like parents and like the stroller things? No. Oh, they're, it's really funny because it's like- I need to watch them. We don't want our kids to just like be living off of our free work or whatever. I think it's so funny. Um, are you always hot or always cold? Oh, um, well, like, now I'm always hot. I, I like sat my room to be really cold, so I think I, like, prefer the cold, cold more, so I'm probably always hot. I'm always cold, okay. but I like my room to be cold. That's okay. why I'm always cold. <laughs> it, it works like that. My dad said, babies are awesome. That is so funny. <laughs> I guess him and my sister can get into it in the family group chat about that one. Um, did you have acne as a teenager? Um, I feel like I broke out more when I got stressed in college. Really? So, like, not really, but like, yes. I feel like, yeah, I just always had acne. Teenager, child, 20s, name it. Name the decade I had it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that. It's totally, and I think there's something about UVA stress that just makes you break right. out. It just hits really it different. Hits. It really hits. Um, what's your favorite smell? Oh, I love eucalyptus. That's such a weird answer. That is a very good really answer. Like what does that smell like? <laughs> um, like I just use it in my room. It just smells like... I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like, it's like stress relief scent. Oh. Like, I don't know. It smells like. 
I know, like, I know sharp, what you mean. but sweet and like with hints of like it's very like. So like, if I'm going into a spa to get a massage, would I yes, smell it? I think okay. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I kind of hear what you're saying. Nia and Maya. Hello. Oh, thanks, Daddy. Oh, my sister said your toes are like ice. Okay, so there's context to that because every time I go to sleep, my feet are always freezing. And so I like to put my feet on my sister when I'm sleeping with her to like warm them up, but she hated that. Um, and so I would wait for her to go to sleep before me and then I put my feet on her to warm them up. So that way, like, you know, win-win. She didn't have to feel my cold feet because she's <laughs> great. Steve Fumo, um, would you rather eat out or have a home cooking? Um, I think I'd have a home cooked meal. I really like cooking. Well, I love my mom's cooking, and I love cooking with friends too. And it's like mm, a whole process. And it's yeah. like, like when you've made it, it's like so it much more good. satisfying to eat it. I agree. Know? I think I would rather have a home cooked meal that tastes good. But I don't That's know. True, true. Like, I mean, y'all know how I cook. <laughs> I would like to say before quarantine, I was terrible. But now I can make a little something, something. Like I can, I can mess with a few eggs and make a little something, something. I can, I can make some. I can fry some tortillas. Yes. So, yeah. Actually, that didn't answer the question. Um, I'm going to say home-cooked meal as long as I'm getting help on it. Beautiful. <laughs> um, have you ever had your fortune read? Ooh. Um, not, like, officially, but, like, I've had... One time my friend was like, yeah, like, I learned from, like, a witch. Can I read your palm? And I was what? like, okay. And then she did. I don't really she, know if she... Did she say anything that was, like, I don't remember. crazy or impactful? Can you read my palm? I don't know how to read palms. <laughs> I'd just be like, X, Z, V... <laughs> That must mean you are going to be at the end of the what? alphabet, which like means life has an end. I don't know. No, I'm not the person to palm read. Um, so I want to have it read though. I feel like that'd be really fun. I think it could be cool. I um, I have not had my fortune read. I'm, I, I'm okay with that. I'm good on that one. I feel like I, I don't mess around with that stuff. Um, if you had a warning label, what would it say? Oh my god. Um. <laughs> said, what's a little something something in my eggs a little something something i need a little pepper a little salt a little red pepper yeah just a little little mix maybe a little milk but yeah yes <laughs> yeah what would your what would your warning label say what would it say <clears throat> i don't know hmm and just like spontaneously sings <laughs> that's true that's, <laughs> yours would be I, yeah indecisive and spontaneously sings um, I think mine would say, my sister would say, mine would be spontaneously shouting. And I, think I, I yell <laughs> We're both a lot. spontaneous. We're both very spontaneous. That's why we get along. Yeah. That's why we get along. Okay, let's do three more questions. Okay. Um, is your job fulfilling? So I guess, is school fulfilling? Yeah, school, I mean, I guess, yeah. Like, right now, yeah. it's a little, like, weird. It's a little wonky right now. But, like, yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> I agree with that. I feel like I'm still happy to, like, be here with, with you guys and go through it. And I like all my classes. <laughs> yeah. So it works. Let's see. My dad says... Don't hug me. Nia's warning labels. <laughs> yeah, I hate being touched. Um, which is why Corona, I mean, Corona's terrible, but this period of, like, socially distanced is, like, kind of good. Yeah, because yeah, you have no... I feel like some people me. need to wear masks all the time. Yeah, okay. I totally agree. <laughs> like, even in not a pandemic. On a daily. My sister <laughs> says, I randomly shout, Nia. I do randomly shout, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay, we have two more. Oh, these are two good questions and not. Okay, I'll ask I'll ask the top one first. Ooh, okay. What is your favorite Disney movie? Oh my gosh, okay, it's Aladdin. That's my favorite Disney movie. Such a good movie. It's so good. Do you, okay, but how do you feel about the live action? Okay, I thought it was really beautiful. I thought it was very I well too. done. I really liked it. I agree. I think a lot of people hated on it and I thought the live yeah, action was Yeah, I thought it was beautiful. good. Um, I think my favorite Disney movie. That's terrible to ask. I feel like it changes. Oh, but, okay, so are we gonna, okay, we'll just talk about Disney cartoons. Okay. I'll put it in Disney cartoons. And with that, I think I'm gonna say Mulan. I love She's my Mulan. favorite princess. She's so good. She's so She's great. powerful. I'm really excited for next week for the live action to come out. Yeah, oh September 4th. It. It's gonna be so good. I'm so down. And then the last question is, what book has mm. influenced you the most? Oh my gosh. Mm. That's a good one. I feel like you read a lot, and you read a lot of different stuff. <laughs> yeah, so I feel like there could be a lot of different answers. Like, um, Maybe, like, recently, too, if that helps. Okay, right recently now. I read The Color Purple over winter break, and it was so good. Really? It's such a good book, yeah. Is it, like, anything like the musical, would you say? Yeah. The movie? Mm. There's, like, direct quote parallels. Like, oh, that's, that's cool. That's what made it really fun, because I really like the musical, too. Oh, so. that's cool. That's a good it's one. That's a, a good, good one. Book. How about you? Um, I would have to say Harry Potter. That's the other one I would have said. Yeah, thought. I think I figured you probably would have said that one too. I mean, I talk in a British accent. I tried Good to convince time. my parents to let me go to boarding school in England. Um, I have a wand. You have a Slytherin banner. I have a there. Slytherin banner right above my bed. I, it has to be Harry Potter. I think I'm a witch. I am a witch. 
So yeah, those are all of our questions for today. Yay. Thank you for joining us, Maya. Maya. I love you, love you, love you. <laughs> she will definitely be back. Um, Maya is literally the best, and you will hear me Aww. talk about her forever. <laughs> and again, as you saw, we're best friends, and we still wore masks. We wore masks. So yeah, she's gonna be jamming out with me on the side, giving me giving me courage as we go through these crazy times. Okay, so back on to some more music. So the next song that I'm gonna play for you guys. Um, <clears throat> what song am I singing for you guys next? Uh, it's River. Okay, so a few weeks ago I told you guys about the song that I was working on. Um, and it was weird because this is a song that I've written originally on piano, right? Um, but now it, I, I transferred it to guitar and then I, I finished writing it. And so I'm still getting used to it, but I would be curious to hear what you guys have to say. So let me know if you guys like it or not. <clears throat> memories on repeat because they're all about you all about you can't ignore the echo of my heartbeat because it's calling for you it's calling for you but i don't want to jump i don't want to fall blindly i just want to hide called River. Um, obviously, I said it 50 times. Um, I think this is one of those songs that is a lot more um, metaphoric, you know? I think it's something that I worked on a lot lyrically and less or melodically. Um, even with, with my favorite part is the, is the, second, is the second verse and the second pre-chorus. So it says, I try to find the anchor for my feelings, but it's always been you. Praying that your lighthouse guides me clearly, because what would I do if I couldn't find you? 
because I don't want to sink, I don't want to steer blindly, I don't want to crash, I just want to land lightly. If I lost my sail, would you guide me wisely beside you? So, you know, it's kind of about like two or two ships and I'm, I'm floating down the river that he's on and I want to I want to meet him, but I don't want to just crash into him. And I think a lot of times in real life feelings work like that. Like I want to meet you lightly. I don't want to just like crash and be like, oh my gosh, I'm in love with you. I want us to like escalate to like in a nice pace where we're both like helping each other and you're guiding me and I'm guiding you. And you know, feelings can be a really unsafe territory to be in just like the same way that boating can. You just have to know how to navigate it and hope for the best. So yeah, that's what that song Rivers is about. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you liked it or not. Um, so every week, as you guys know, I ask you guys to give me some words to use to write a song with. You guys have given me crazy words in the past. Um, you guys have given me like hallucination, starlight, uh, com com what is this, confusion? So a lot of different words. Um, and the words that you guys gave me to write a song with for this week were lemon, lime, caller ID, balance, and motion. So those are words that either you guys sent to me um, live, in the live, in my unplugged, or that you guys just, um, you know, reached out to me and were like, you should use this song. So definitely keep on, begin thinking of words to give me to make a song for for next week, because um, I'll ask after the song. But so the, again, the words you guys gave me for this week were lemon, lime, caller ID, balance, and motions. So um, the song that I ended up coming up with is called Signs. I literally wrote it last night. You can ask Maya. I was slightly stressed about it because I was procrastinating and I hadn't written the song yet. Um, so I've only sang it less than a handful of times, but I think that's the cool thing about doing these unplugs. Like you guys literally get to see my music in progress. So I don't know what it's gonna sound like in two weeks, but this is what it sounds like less than 24 hours after writing it. So I hope you guys like it. <laughs>
chance you made me caught up in your clues And I don't want to guess your feelings So no more signs Signs No more signs Signs But just like lemon and lime, two of a kind Water and wine, rivers and vines Signs. So yeah, that's signs. I wrote it yesterday, as you can see, I'm a little bit passionate about it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let me stop. But I <laughs> I'm done. It's Maya's here. She knows exactly what I'm referencing. Um <laughs> I think no, um those are I my favorite part is the pre-chorus. Um and I think Maya decided her favorite part is the pre-chorus too. Um, we're just like water and wine, rivers and vines, always bound together. We make the designs, balance and line, so can't we stand together? And I think the feeling um, of the chorus is, is really real, and I think a lot of people can relate. And again, I always say, like, writing is like my diary, and my sister is doing sign <laughs> um, <as> a... <laughs> Sorry. Um, so writing is literally like my diary. I wrote this, <laughs> I wrote this yesterday. Clearly, I am... Um... <laughs> There are things I was feeling. The chorus says that you don't get to say you love me if they don't get to know you do. And I can only pray you want me the way that I want to, uh, the way that I want you. Because I've been chasing every chance you lay me, caught up in your clues, and I don't want to guess your feelings. No more signs. Um, and I think that's true. I think a lot of times everybody's like, we're gonna lay down a sign and hope somebody figures it out. But no, no more signs. Just be upfront. No more signs. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go to the next song before I, I talk myself <laughs> into a ditch. Guys, this is so bad. So yeah, I hope you guys like that song. <laughs> my dad says, "Don't get locked out of your room." I won't get locked out of my room again. Thank you, Father. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the next song. <laughs> um, so as I said before, that song came out of because you guys suggested words for me, and um, I also wrote my feelings into that song. So the words you guys <laughs> suggested for me for last week were lemon, lime, caller ID, balance, and motions. So. Now, if you guys could begin to suggest words for next week so I could write more of a diary, that would be great. Just leave them in the comments. Um, and you know, I'm just gonna keep, I'm gonna keep singing that melody while you guys suggest words. Wow, I'm really a lot today. <laughs> I'm gonna blame Maya. So yeah, if you guys have any words, just, just, keep, just keep playing them down. Um, I actually really like the lemon and lime. I think that came from my dad and some other people. You're pointing <laughs> Um, you guys are all commenting. You guys are talking about a wedding. Can you guys? <laughs> Why are they talking about a wedding in the comments? He says, I'm not paying for that wedding, Kiara, but I will attend. Whose wedding? Will you marry me? Oh, my sister's asking me to marry her. Kiara, that's incest. No, I will not marry you. <laughs> just like water and wine, lemon and lime. Okay, yeah, so if you guys could start suggesting words or just um, think of any words that you want to suggest for me to, to use for next week, that would be great. Um, <clears throat> the word my dad said is flustered. Yes, because that, that is how I'm feeling. <laughs> that is how I'm feeling right now. I also want to say that I had my first full glass of wine um, literally two hours ago. I don't know how wine works. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's why I feel flustered. This is how it works. <laughs> this is how it works, so I feel flustered. No, I feel fine. I am just, I am just flustered. My dad also says blushing. Daddy! <laughs> He's not making this any easier. Okay, so flustered, blushing. Hey. Pink? The wall. A bit like the wall. Okay, pink. I like that one. Maya says pink. So we have flustered, we have blushing, we have pink. Um, liquid courage. Ooh, liquid courage is kind of dope. Okay, these are a lot of words. Um, I also see Edwin says serendipity. My dad says drunk. Daddy, I'm not drunk. I promise you I'm not drunk. I had one glass of wine, literally one. And it was so gross, but I, I want it to be, I want it to be cool. Ooh, ubiquitous. These big words, I'm liking it. I know, these are SAT vocabulary words. Okay, so I think I'm gonna take all of those ones. And I'll, you know what, I'll add drunk. So we have flustered, blushing. Those ones aren't serious ones. I'll see if I can work them in. But that was my dad just poking fun at me. Uh, my dad's a Slytherin. So <clears throat> I'm really gonna roll with at least pink, liquid courage, serendipity, and ubiquitous, and drunk. So we'll see what, what song I make out of those words. You have to tune in for next week to see what song I make. And I'm sure it will be another diary entry. Um, and yeah, we'll just, we're just going to leave it at that. Anyways, <laughs> so um, this next song that I'm going to sing, 
I've talked about it before. Um, it's called I Don't Care, and I, I just wanted to bring it back because, um, you know, I'm back in an academic space where a lot of times where I say I'm pursuing music <clears throat> or I'm pursuing, um, like, songwriting, people are like, you're not going to make a living off of that. That doesn't make any sense. Like, how are you going to make money? And so this is a song that if you haven't heard me talk about before, um, I had a, a teacher in the ninth grade tell me that I was never going to make any money off of songwriting. And so I was like, okay, I guess I'm just going to have to write a song about you and prove you wrong. So this song is called I Don't Care. It's very much how I'm feeling as I'm coming back to UVA. And everybody's like, what's your going to be your next big move? Like, what business are you going to work for? What grad school are you going to apply for? And I'm like, dude, I'm going into songwriting. And <clears throat> it'll be a fun journey. So yeah, this is, this is I Don't Care. Every word you say is going down the drain. If you don't want to hear me, I guess I'll just be leaving. I don't want to waste my time in your games. I'm going out and doing what I want. So I don't care, your girl is a smart one. I don't care, your boy can play. I don't care, you went to Harvard. I don't care, I like to sing. Don't try to understand, don't try to take my hand. Cause you think that I'll break. But I won't care, flip my hair and watch this song. Um, <clears throat> I totally still feel it like I don't care what other people have to say I'm pursuing this and just leave it at that so yeah that's my song I don't care hope you guys like that one so sadly we have come to the end of our show end of my show which means I have one song left for you guys and this is a cool song to sing because um, I <clears throat> I promise I don't have corona I'm just clearing my throat <laughs> so I I wrote this based off of a FaceTime ring. Um, so I was literally, I was calling my friend who wasn't picking up his phone, and so I just hear the, the ring, and it's like, do 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 And I was like, yo, like, that's a song. And so I, I kid you not, he called me back, and I was like, I'm sorry, we can't talk now because I have a song to write. Um, and I, I pulled up, I made that beat on Logic, and it was like, do 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 and I wrote a song for it. <clears throat> and it, it's kind of, it's it sucks because you guys can't hear the da na 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 because I can't make that sound and play guitar at the same time. But I'll like try to like wink where it would be. Um, and then maybe you guys can like, like visualize <clears throat> what it would sound like. But yeah, I'm really excited about the song. <clears throat> it's another song where I really care about the lyrics again. Oh yeah, Kiara said true story. She was there when it happened. Um, and basically the song, I'll talk about it a little bit after I sing it, but yeah, it's just about, again, like following your dreams, chasing that destination and finding yourself. So my sister says, call me, I'll do that. -na 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 -na. <laughs> that is so funny. I'm sure she would. <clears throat> so this song is called Destination. They say you dream too much, live inside your head. I say it's just enough. Ignore the real world ringing you. Oh, so learn gets to you. Oh, oh. So down we go. Tumbling below their focus. Reaching higher views. Oh, no wonder they're confused. They've never been this far. So they don't know the roads. Down underneath their skies. They're wishing they could go. Oh, oh, oh. But don't let 
destinations. You oh oh, your destinations oh oh oh. Essentially, the message, I, I love the chorus, is they've never been this far, so they don't know the roads. Down underneath their scars, they're wishing they could go, but don't let them take control. They may have lost their dreams, you've just begun the chase, you're le living young and free and still got time to waste, and you already know, your destination is you. So yeah, <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in this week. I hope you guys enjoyed all my songs. I'm excited to play um, a few new songs for you guys next week. I don't know, maybe if you tune in, I'll be playing the new song that'll be coming out in like a month. Who knows? You have to tune in for next week. Um, and I'll have a song with the words you guys gave me. I think it'll be really fun. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in. It's already been like 45 minutes, which is like over my limit. But I can't wait to see you guys next week. So yeah, bye guys. <laughs>